Despite various challenges caused by a surge of cases following the arrival of the Omicron variant, Republic Financial Holdings Limited had recorded an increase in profits for the first quarter of the fiscal year. RFHL's profits after tax for the quarter ending December 31, 2021 stood at $432.3 million, an improvement of almost $8 million compared to its performance in the previous year. The profit attributable to equity holders stood at $395.9 million, an increase of $4.7 million, while total assets stood at $111.9 billion at December 31, 2021 an increase of $7.3 billion compared to December 2020. The COVID-19 pandemic has been a downer for most, but there needs to be a shift from a negative mindset to positivity to make progress. This is the thinking behind the Capitalism Initiative, which was officially launched by The Guardian Group on Thursday with the aid of Ross Advertising. The initiative features a series of regional workshops, including motivational talks, which directly address mindsets as the population prepares to move out of the pandemic. Two areas of urgent need in the Caribbean resulting from the effects of the pandemic are emotional and financial well-being. Now, this Guardian Group initiative has invested millions of dollars into what is a multimedia effort in ensuring relief reaches everyone and is made freely available to the Caribbean community. The initiative also hopes to encourage entrepreneurship and resilient business practices going forward. Now, there is also the financial side to the Capitalism Initiative, which shares powerful insights into being more innovative in your business and applying new thinking to brand development and entrepreneurship. Capitalism is therefore designed to guide you out of the negative effects of the pandemic with results that are both positive and profitable. The financing of the planned restructuring of TSTT is to be done without a government guarantee. The company has confirmed in a media release. TSTT says the high anticipated cost of the proposed restructure will be readily offset by savings in personal costs and the elimination of maintenance costs associated with obsolete plants and technology. The company adds revenue from new streams of business, which will partially offset the loss of revenue from voice calling services, local and international. TSCT's revenue fell by $453 million in the past financial year. Peter Christopher, CNC3 Business Watch.